Good day. Welcome to Customer FX Training Snippets. My name is Dale Richter, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in SalesLogic's web client. Let me switch over here quickly to my web client. And here we're looking at the what's new icon down the left-hand side of the screen. Now, some of you may have seen this before, and some of you may not have. This used to be only available to those users that use the remote client on laptop computers. Uh, anyone using the LAN client uh, did not use the What's New. So now they have the What's New again here in the web client. And what this allows us to do is look at all the new activities and contracts and contacts and accounts, all the things that are happening to our database, uh, perhaps when we're not around or even when we are around. So what it allows us to is up in the top of the screen here, it says changes to the database on or after, and we get to choose a date there. So let me go in and click on this calendar here, and I'm just going to move my date back, and I'm going to go all the way back to November 1st, and just click on OK. Once I choose my date there, I do need to click on the search button, and it's going to go back and search the database for all those things that happened uh, on or after 11 1 2009 so now we can look through the different tabs here if I click on the activities tab it's going to show me all the new activities that have been created uh, since that date here they show the new ones down in the bottom they show any modified activities and I can do the same here if I click on contacts I can show any new contacts that have been loaded in and any modified contacts if I look at the leads tab Here's my new lead that I added in the other day. And if I click on the Accounts tab, it's showing me all the new accounts that have been added since 11.1. And down in the bottom of the screen, all the accounts that have been modified since 11.1. So this is a very useful tool for any of the users, uh, perhaps if you've been out of town for a week or so, to come in here very quickly and see what's been changed on your records. Um, also, if you have other people working on your records, you can go and look at the history here. See any activities that have happened directly on your records. So again, this is accessed through the What's New button down the left-hand side of the screen. This can also be set, if I go up to my Options button, underneath the General Search tab, you can also see show on startup and you could choose the what's new to show on startup so every time that you log in to sales logics it automatically goes to the what's new and just gives you a quick review again of what's happening on your records new activities new history uh, any new accounts or contacts that have been had uh, added to your uh, database and any new leads that have been added to your database so, of course, once I change this here, I need to save that with the save icon in the upper right-hand corner here. And then I can go back to my What's New again. And then, of course, when I log back in again, it's going to bring me what directly to the What's New screen. Now, it's going to hold that date up there of 11-1. So, if I want to go back to today's date, just go in there and change the date. Click on OK. So, that's the What's New button. Um, use it. Again, it helps you to keep updated on what's happening with your records. I want to thank you all for coming this afternoon. This has been Customer Effects Training Snippet What's New in SalesLogic's Web Client. Have a great day.